everyone, welcome to a new episode of Decoding Tech Trends. Today we have with us Nidhi Srivastav. She is the head of AI.Cloud offerings at TCS. Welcome to the show, Nidhi. Hi, Priyanka, and it's lovely to be here. The pleasure is all mine. Nidhi, uh, as I understand, you, you've been in TCS for nearly three decades, right? Uh, tell us about the journey. It's been a fascinating journey. It's a journey in which I have traveled many countries, uh, worked in many different roles with the different teams. And uh, it's been a journey of exploration, of growth, and uh, overall uh, something that I am very proud of. Just to sort of get into the business part of it, uh, can you give us a context of you know, what does AI mean for businesses and how can, you know, what are the transformative powers it holds? The tsunami that uh, AI has unleashed um, has been uh, incredible as a tech trend. And uh, people uh, believe that uh, AI would be as transformative as internet and smartphones have been in our personal lives. Enterprises world over are uh, racing in this uh, opportunity to use AI as a competitive advantage. In my uh, three decades of a career, I have never seen uh, the pace of innovation being as fast as it has been. The remarkable thing has been that all stakeholders has really come together to uh, you know, build this perfect storm. The, the real transformation is yet to be delivered. How are they preparing for it? How are they you know, uh, receiving this, uh, like you said, tsunami of uh, tech revolution? Clients are extremely uh, aware and, and very well poised to embrace AI. They are weighing the benefits and the risks I that see. come with the technology that is maturing, that it takes time for any technology to be fully proven, tested and safe. So the safe usage of AI is something that uh, clients are very aware of. And uh, that's a positive thing. Nobody wanted to be left behind. Absolutely nobody. And, and so we had pilots of all kinds being done. But the point is, you have to find the right business case. So the journey from right. a business case to a value case is the one that most clients are making today. We recently did a study. It was the global AI business study. And what we found in the study that about 26% of projects have been completed around AI. So that number is only going to go up from where we are today. I'm sure. We are looking to ensure that um, the right guardrails are there, the right regulations are there. Clients are really preparing themselves to doing the transition from pilots to production. How do you then uh, adopt a technology that might change tomorrow? Yeah. Can you uh, highlight some of these barriers for us? First and foremost, you have to look at the readiness of your current IT infrastructure. Has it scaled enough to meet the compute power needs of AI? The next one is around security, privacy. Everyone's talking about that. Have you built yeah. the right guardrails to ensure that AI will be ethical and will uh, have a responsible AI stance built by design? The third thing that I'll talk about is the availability of talent. Uh, as uh, um, AI goes mainstream, the uh, need for people with the right skills, these are all going to become very uh, crucial. Overall organization change management, because you have to prepare an organization uh, that understands that uh, uh, AI, and in particular generative AI, the outputs that are generated are probabilistic to begin with right. but then we train the model um, with so much uh, data that the outputs begin to tend towards deterministic there might be um, times that the uh, responses are not grounded with data and that's something that we call hallucination that the yes. model hallucinates so you have to prepare your workforce. But the most important thing is, I think, for 
uh, companies and corporates to recognize that to embrace AI um, full steam, you need to build a, a culture of continuous learning, of curiosity, adaptability, and um, you have and, to keep up with the technology to be able yes, to. Yes, and innovation. When you look at AI transformation journeys, they will be industry led. We are taking a human centered design approach because when you build solutions for a persona, uh, it becomes much more easily consumable right. because it's targeted to the persona and uh, it becomes like a peer assist. So AI will be uh, a, a peer for every key business role that we can think of in the future. Where does TCS fall in the scheme of things? How, you know, what are TCS's offerings? We have uh, an offering uh, catalog that spans the full range of AI and cloud. And that comes from our intrinsic belief that AI uh, journeys for our clients uh, will be um, um, industry-led and on the cloud. We have built a service catalog that uh, has uh, services for business, AI for business, uh, that spans our industries. When I look at uh, the uh, um, software solutions industries, we have a solution around logistics. It's a co-pilot, if you will, for the logistics manager looking at um, uh, demand, uh, looking at the inventory, uh, providing proactive recommendations on how to manage the inventory. Uh, that even includes coming out with dynamic uh, routes that can be picked up, you know, mm -hmm. for uh, the shipment of materials. In the manufacturing industry, we have a solution which is a plant operator smart assist. It was built looking at the day in the life of a plant operator. So we looked at the day in the life of uh, a plant operator, analyzed the activities, and then we said which activities are best placed for intervention by generative AI. And then we automated or brought in Gen AI. And uh, with that, we were able to really lead to reducing the downtime of the machinery in the plants. And consequently, in one example of uh, using the solution, we were able to save about $2 million in terms of the wow. cost of equipment, which would have been uh, uh, down because of uh, various maintenance reasons, yes. leading to loss of production. Then we also have solutions on AI from a cross-industry perspective. The good news is that there is tremendous gains to be made in terms of turnaround times, in terms of uh, the throughput that you can accomplish with this uh, human being and coding assistant combination. How to build an enterprise roadmap for AI, how to set up your AI office, how to build uh, responsible AI guardrails, um, and most importantly, how to create data pipelines uh, that will look at your current data. So these are some examples of AI offerings and we continue to offer our cloud offerings, which includes everything from infra app to data modernization. You know, TCS has a great relationship with uh, partnership with uh, the hyperscalers. How does that benefit TCS uh, and its clients? We have done deep competency development on the respective hyperscaler stacks. And those deep skills are coupled with the specializations that we have uh, for uh, different uh, uh, cloud uh, uh, native uh, skill sets that really positions us very well for um, delivering large-scale uh, enterprise-grade cloud transformation engagements. We have uh, made these investments to make sure that TCS is really well poised to meet our clients in their uh, transformation journeys, which today straddle both cloud as well as AI. Where do you see the future going with uh, Gen AI? Um, the, the beauty of uh, Gen AI is its ability to create new content new information uh, in a manner that is very easy to consume, which is natural language, sometimes a picture, an image. And so 
uh, that is what uh, lends uh, uh, that special aura that goes with all things generative AI. I think uh, uh, what we will see is a lot of composite AI. That means generative AI along with predictive AI being used together mm -hmm. to uh, drive uh, uh, industry-grade transformation, if you will. We have an offering, it's called Talk to Data. So earlier you would write scripts to uh, query the data, fetch it, and you know, you build reports out of it. That would be of relevance. Today you can talk to that data and get the reports that you want. Uh, using generative AI as an example. That is very fascinating. Uh, Nidhi, this has been a pleasure talking to you. You are very articulate and you've, you've you know, contextualized the landscape for us so well. Uh, we hope to have you soon again. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Priyanka. The pleasure was entirely mine. Thank you.